Vogue. 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 Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name is Maya and I hate tomatoes. Autumn is upon us. Yeah, it sucks, I know. What do you think about when you think of autumn, really? Fashion. And when you think of fashion, do you not think of Vogue? Of course you do. So, this video, we're gonna try and live a perfect Vogue day to make to make our lives better, to see if we can improve our lives with Vogue. So I have a whole day planned out with a bunch of activities. We've got food to try, we've got photo shoots, we have got, we've got a bunch of stuff to do anything. So, I have pretty much been scouring Vogue magazines. We've got Vogue US, we've got Vogue UK. We can also question why Vogue UK is like three times as Big as Vogue US? Not sure. Uh, I've been looking on Vogue's homepage, Instagram, YouTube. I've been scouring the web, doing my research to find the perfect day with Vogue. So I hope you hang with me and we're gonna start off this day by making our own Vogue merch. I know. So the day started and I was like, well, I want to look the part, of course. I want to look like the proper Vogue girl, woman that I am. So I, you know, interneted and Vogue has their own like merchandise line. They sell like sweat suits and like a puzzle and yeah, it's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, and I found like the perfect sweatshirt and I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful, so pretty. And then, girlies, I saw the price, $165. And I was like, mm, <laughs> nah, we're not doing that. So I made my own version. So I got myself a sweatshirt. I got out needle and thread and I embroidered it myself and you know I was thinking I could write Vogue on it but could be some copyright issues with that and it doesn't feel completely good making a fake Vogue sweatshirt so instead I chose the word create super original I know $10 instead of 165 that's more my style so I wanted to start the day with some nice breakfast and I found an article about J. Hannah nail polish and not only nail polish and nicely manicured nails they were eating bagels so I was like I can do that so got onto the interweb and I ordered some J. Hannah nail polish and I painted my nails so, good morning. It is seven o'clock on a Sunday. I'm up early. <laughs> uh, and I got my nail polish here and, uh, and a top coat here. So I'm gonna show you the color. I chose Patina. Uh, see, it's like a greenish color. I'm kind of surprised. I thought the bottle was gonna be bigger just because like this was pricey. Uh, I, yesterday I shaped my nails. You can see, they're getting quite long. If you watch my nail polish video, I was talking like that I always have short nails, but since then I've grown them out and like started shaping them. I want them in like an almond shape. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. Uh, so yeah, step on, paint the nails, use the top coat. Nothing too crazy. Let's see how good this is, because since it's pricey, it better be good. OK, 
tape so you're definitely gonna need more than one coat this is just one layer and it's a bit streaky but it's fine I have to say the smell of nail polish is not really the first thing you want in the morning before breakfast I literally woke up got out of bed took got these nail polishes and sat down in front of the camera okay so that's our first layer I mean I like it I feel like this color is kind of different like you don't see it everywhere so I, oh did I touch that that's getting much more opaque now let's see that's better a green nails I don't even know how to like explain this green. It's like a light green. <laughs> Something like that. That was the nail polish. And I ate some bagels. I did a lox bagel and it was delicious. And I ate that. And that was great. You can see the video over here. Okay, so time for some bagels. I got... Uh, cream cheese with uh, garlic taste, so garlic cream cheese. We've got some proper Swedish gravad lax, which is like lox. And then we have bagels. It was a pain to get these bagels. So these are brioche bagels, which you know, like, not really the traditional route, especially when it's like savory. I feel like that would be good with like Nutella, but that's not what we're doing today. But I went to three separate stores to get these. None of them have bagels. And bagels aren't really super popular in Sweden. So it was hard. I was thinking about making my own. And honestly, I didn't really want to do that. So finally, I found these. So we're rolling with them. So I'm going to put pop one in the toaster. Here, let me have my bagels. I know some people do like capers or uh, onions and stuff like that. I'm not doing that. Well, I'm already doing garlic in this. And capers, honestly, I just can't be bothered to chop them up. I'm tired. <laughs> For me, breakfast needs to be a low effort meal. At least this early in the day. If I'm doing like a brunch situation, it could be a bit more complex. But like seven-ish o'clock, I just need my food. Okay. I feel like this is a great color combination. <laughs> We're doing small pieces. Okay, something like that. Hmm. Let's do the other one. Okay, so I have this like cute little plate that I want to use. So which one is the pretty one? Mm. I almost think this one. Or no. I don't know. No, this one. It's more... It's the bottom side, so yeah. I'm thinking like overhead picture. Since the Vogue article didn't really have that much pictures in it, I'm just going for like the vibe. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's move these. Oh my god, they're heavy. I'm oh, fine, I'm okay. <laughs> let's see, because the best light is here. How do you get your nails naturally in a picture? It's so hard. So for the nail polish, I think it's really pretty. I like it. Bit expensive, okay? And for the Lox bagel. Mm. 
Okay. I like the flavours, I do. But it's... Fish this early in the morning gets very, very fishy, kind of. Like, it's quarter to eight now, and I feel like if it was, like, 10, 11, we're doing a brunch situation, no problem. But now, it's a bit too early for my taste. But, yeah. I'm still gonna eat it. I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea now. And it's time to eat some breakfast, so yeah. Next up, I needed to get my face ready. So I looked at a tutorial with the one and only Bella Porch, how she does her makeup, and then I kind of listened to it. Badly, but I did my makeup-ish like she does. And then I also used some Vogue perfume that was free with the magazine. Great. Oh yeah, I did my hair with one of these head scarves. And I looked very fashionable. It was very annoying, but it looked cute. I liked it. Okay, now, oh well, great that I have lots of hair there. <laughs> good stuff. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup. So it's time to take off the glasses. Um, I'm following Bella Porch's tutorial on Vogue. Let's just get it. The way so she starts with cleanser obviously I don't have the exact same products because I didn't so I'm following more of the method more than the actual like products because I'm not gonna like pay hundreds of dollars just for makeup look when I probably won't be doing it exactly this way again uh, so first up cleanser just gonna clean my face <sighs> Something like that. Next step she uses is a vitamin C serum. I might have that somewhere. I'm gonna look. Oh, no, I definitely do. I have, wait, I thought this was vitamin C. We're gonna do this instead. We have a caffeine solution. It's a bit old. It'll be fine. Oh, I can barely open it. We'll smell it. If it smells okay, we'll use it. Yeah. If my face starts burning off, this is why. Okay, next step. Moisturizer. Good idea, since we are going to be going out. Okay, sun cream. Next up is foundation. Uh, she goes quite heavy with foundation. I don't love having super heavy, but we're gonna go heavy for me. I have this Chanel Ultra Light Skin Perfecting Sunscreen. Oh, it's sunscreen in this too. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a lot of sunscreen, apparently. She uses a beauty blender. I do not know where mine is, so I'm using a brush. This is very hairy, heavy makeup for me, <laughs> it feels really weird. And she does concealer. I should have really prepared for this a bit more. I don't even know if I have a concealer, honestly. This is going right. I'm sorry, we'll skip concealer. She only uses a bit, it's fine. Then she goes in with a brow brush. I do have one of those, just her brows how she wants them to be. I feel like I used to be better at doing brows before. So I don't have a pencil, but I do have a super, super old one of these, like the pot ones. So I'm gonna do that. When I do my makeup, I kind of feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Actually, now that like the foundation is sitting a bit, I don't hate it. I'm kind of sweating though. Okay, she goes in with a powder bronzer. Again, not sure if I actually... Wait, I do have that. I definitely do. A bronzer. Something like this. 
Oh, that is not even. Okay. And she did. And I just very aggressively brush it until it looks like a human. <laughs> Lip liner. Let's see what we've got. Okay, let's tie this on. So she does blush like here. Oh wow, that's pigmented. Okay, we're going in for that. Oh my god. I might look crazy, I'm not sure. This is very intense for me. Like a bit. Yeah, that's better. So usually I don't use powder blush, I do a cream blush or like a stick blush. Um, so this is a bit intense. I feel like I look really weird. Looks like I have a black eye. Bella, <laughs> what happened? I do nose. Oh my god. She doesn't use brushes, she uses her fingers a bit. So we're gonna do that. Okay, she does her nose, her chin. And then look here. This is the finished makeup look. Do we look alike? <laughs> Chanel number five. There was a test in the magazine. So. Let's rub it. <laughs> so now we're moving on to hair. In the article, let's take this off. She was talking about these like hair scarf thingies that were like already tied. I do not own them, but I have like the classic one that you have to fold yourself. So we're doing that. But first, I want, yeah, my hair is a bit crazy. So I'm gonna brush it out with some leave in conditioner, I think, and comb it out. I look in community, <laughs> the TV show, there's an episode where they uh, losing my train of thought, sorry. Uh, there's an episode where they play like a video game for Pierce's uh, inheritance when his father's passed away and there's like hippies in the game that you should avoid. I feel like my hair looks like those hippies. I'll insert a picture. Ow! I'm actually not sure how this is gonna work because my hair is big and needs to be managed. So we have the scarf. Let's put it like that. So we have our triangle and then Wait. <laughs> Wait, this is. <laughs> How do you do this? Like that? No. Like this? And then behind? There's so much hair there! Does this even look cute? I'm not sure. She. Okay, so she had it like here. So you could see that part. What do you think? And like, this is how the back looks. I can't really see it. Well, this is what we're going with. And I'm, I'm not sure about this, like, how all blue and orange matches. It'll be fine. I totally forgot to put my glasses on again. Like, that's why it didn't feel completely right. Actually, I mean, thinking that like cottage core and stuff are popular right now, this is kind of cute. Yeah, let's go with it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, what do we do? We t we uh, had to get our asses outside because you know outdoors is good for people and you shouldn't be indoors all day. Looking at you.
weird. Anyway, so I went out and I took some pictures of stuff for a photo shoot. And I also sat outside and just was completely zen and painted. Because there was an article in Vogue about during the pandemic that artists have had to go outside to paint instead. And uh, I found that's, that sounded nice. So I did that. And it was nice. Uh, but my head scarf was getting really annoying at that point. So I'm walking outside and I get what she meant with how hard it is with a headscarf because <laughs> it keeps like going moving back. So I understand that it's not the best but it still looks cute uh, and I'm out in this like sort of old offices area near the water in Gothenburg and it's like not that many people out I think there's some kind of like sport event over here but otherwise nobody's here so it's fun just walking around looking for some photo opportunities for uh, my jewelry project and now I'm gonna look for somewhere to paint I think I'm gonna try to sit by the water uh, yeah that's the plan okay so I found a place by the water to sit if you can see it's like a long bench here and gonna show you what I want to paint. So I want to paint this building and the water here. So yeah, let's go. I have all my stuff here too. So let's get started. So I've been sitting here for a while now and honestly I'm getting a bit cold so I'm going to go in now. Uh, I've been painting, it's not really that pretty but sometimes it's just about like sitting doing something that's fun more than like what the end result actually is. Uh, so I've been having really, it's really peaceful and I've been listening to the Harry Potter yeah, audible book and like it's just comfy I think this is really nice so yeah I'm gonna go in now and carry on with my day so see you in a bit <laughs> 